Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday. Uh, today, uh, Alex joined me for breakfast stream, which was nice on its own, but also he brought me an apple fritter, and that was extra nice. And I only ate half of it, and I have the rest probably in the microwave. Is that, that's usually where I store baked goods. Yeah, I know myself. Um, so I'll eat the rest of that when I get back from the vet, because today Kep is going to the vet. Um, he's just been, he's been weird with food. That's been part of it. He's been a little weird with food. He hates his medicine because it tastes bad. And he's slowly started to get to the point where he really doesn't want to eat wet food at all. And he's only kind of half eating dry. His weight is still up. So like things are still okay. And he's otherwise acting normal. But that's an obvious problem. And then also his stomach's been gurgly for like seven to 10 days. So he's got to go to the vet. Brandon's going to join me. We're matching. But I'm not I had to look at what I was doing. I wasn't <laughs> sure. Uh, Brandon's going to help me wrangle Cap. I mean, he's drugged, yeah. so he's a little, a little easier to, to wrangle. We're not matching in that respect. No. <laughs> that, then I'd have to wrangle you. It would yeah. be very difficult. Oh, yeah. The only downside is that um, giving Cap the gab, the gab is like pretty big. So instead of pilling him, I put it in his food, and he only ate half which means that he only has half of the drugs in him. I mean, it's still working. Like, he's clearly kind of out. But um, he might wake up a little bit at the vet. So we'll see what happens. Hi, little guy. You did it. You made it. You did. He actually did quite well. Yeah. He did very, very well at the vet, um, even despite not having the full gabapentin. He was relatively calm. They gave him some food, and he was chowing down on the food, and man, they, get, they gave him the, the same food. It's a very good vet. They gave him the same food that he eats at home. And he has a little trouble eating it at home. And he ate it right up at the vet. So he talked about it, um, about his intestinal trouble and uh, like what was going on, why we were hearing noises and stuff. And I think we came up with a, a reasonable course of action. The vet does not want to take him off of the meds that he's on because things have been stable and the alternate the, the alternate option is to put him on a different steroid but it is still a steroid which then runs the risk of having having side effects that are bad so wants to keep him on the medicine if it's possible and what we're going to do is uh kind of adjust his food a little bit um and we'll see how that goes we will see how that goes we will do our best to make sure that we're <laughs> Trying to get him to eat. The biggest thing that is going to change, honestly, and I, I already know, is that um, I have been mixing his pill into his food, and uh, that makes his food taste bad. And I have to really coax him to get it to to eat it, and I have to put like other little treats and stuff in his food to get him to eat the food. So instead, as much as I hate it, I think I'm going to have to just start giving him his pill directly. I can do that. I don't like to do it, but I can. And if I do that, I'll for one, I'll ensure that he gets the proper dosage of his pill, that he's not missing any. And then number two, he'll probably go back to liking wet food because he currently, at least, seems to associate it with that taste, and um, that should solve that. And we've talked about it in the past, but like that, that pill can't be compounded. So we can't make it taste like anything else. It has to be this way. So it's unfortunate, but that's what we're going to do. We'll just uh, we'll give him his pill in the morning, and then right after we give him his pill, we'll give him food or, or a, a treat or something, something that he can be like, okay, well, this isn't so bad. So Sorry you had a rough day, buddy. But at least you don't have quite as much gabapentin in you as you normally do, so he won't be out for the rest of the night. He'll just be out for a while. And Brandon, thanks for coming with me. Sure. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Fortunately, there, there were no accidents or anything in the car. The last two visits that I've been to with him, he's been very well behaved. and Yeah. He complains a little bit when we get in the car, and then he just kind of chills out. So it kind yeah. of makes it less of a crisis to have to go to the vet, which is nice in some ways. Yeah. The other thing is that, um, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't throw up, uh, fortunately, because that would be bad. Uh, but he does sometimes throw up when he's on gabapentin, and he didn't throw up today. He didn't throw up before, he didn't throw up now, and he might not at all because 
he didn't get as much as he normally does. So I wonder if that means that in the future you can give him less gabapentin than you normally do to take him to the vet. Maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Because, like, he's not as out as he normally would be. I'll keep an eye on him and see if that changes, but... Yeah. Maybe I can just give him a little bit less. There have been times in the past where I've given him less, and it has been hard. Yeah. But also, this vet is really good, so the vet can probably deal with it a little bit more easily. Like, whenever he had his, um, his echo... Yeah. Like, he really has to be properly drugged for that, because otherwise he is very squirmy and like he can't be squirmy for that because they got to do the yeah the but thing that like they're trained on how to calm cats and all yeah. that stuff and really he didn't seem that panicked in the office no so no he did really good he did eat three quarters a can of food and most of his meals are a quarter can of wet food but he yeah yeah, I don't... So that could be related. I don't need to give him... But he wasn't, like, howling or... No. You know, he was pretty... And actually, the thing that was so funny to me is that when it was all said and done, like, as we were winding down, uh, his cage was open, and he didn't get in the cage. There, instead, he jumped up on the chair next to me and just, like, curled up and was like, I'm just going to sleep here. And I was like, okay. In the last that visit that I went to, he was pretty much the same. I mean, he didn't get quite as cozy, but yeah. he wasn't running around and panicking. So. Well, good job, buddy. You did a good job even if... Well, <laughs> you're going to be feeling the drugs for a little bit. How you feeling, buddy? You doing pretty good now? Yeah. Gabba's mostly out of your system it's hard to see i have the I have the phone almost upside down you guys sneeze you guys sneeze anyway um he's doing good he's doing good he's been understandably a little lethargic today as the gaba exited his system but um he slept kind of downstairs on the uh chair for a long time while i just was up here working and then at some point i looked out my my door and at the top of the stairs he was just sitting there and I was like oh hey buddy so I went and got him and put him on my lap and here he's been just wants to stay right here yeah yeah you a good boy yeah anyway um I'm tired <laughs> I'm so tired. Like I'm I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff while Mao is gone. I always am. I'm not trying I'm I'm trying not to stay up late. I've stayed up like a tiny bit late, but I'm trying not to overdo it, because uh, I want to stay on a good sleep schedule, but like there's still so much stuff to do, so I'm trying to I'm trying to do my best. Tomorrow's another day. And tomorrow, actually I gotta get up early. Because tomorrow I'm going back to physical therapy, having been away from it for three weeks. So um We'll see how that goes. I've been feeling mostly pretty good. Uh, helping Chaz and Jeff move definitely like made my body go, uh. but overall not too bad. Um, but I'm excited to get back in there and maybe learn a few more things because I want to learn a few more things. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?